James argues, accurately, that there are differences between men and women. This is a strange position to be in, to be arguing for something that is so universally and widely accepted within biology. What is not as widely accepted is that culture is also evolutionary, but I'm gonna argue that biology and culture are both evolutionary. Let's look at differences between men and women that are explicitly anatomical and physiological. Are men taller than women on average? Does anyone take offense at that fact? <laughs> Are you One, irritated? There's always so, a stand up. <laughs> so I would say, you could be irritated by it. You could be irritated by the fact that women have to be the ones to gestate and lactate. You could be irritated by a lot of truths. But taking offense Bye. is a... I'm in denial. Is a response that is rejection of reality. Mm. So. Men and women are different on height, they're different on muscle mass, they're different on where fat is deposited on our bodies, right? Our brains are also different. So they're- Security! This is, this is what happens, oh, did they shut off the volume? Can you hear? Can, can everybody hear? It should not listen to fascism. It should not be tolerated in civil society. Nazis are not welcome in civil society. Fuck the police! Cover the people! Thank you. Alright, well we're gonna raise our voices. The conversation's gonna go on. Let, let, let me be crystal clear. Let, let me be crystal clear. People do not have the right to tell you what you can and cannot listen to. People do not have the right, fringe elements of society do not have the right to hold you hostage to discourse. This is a university. If we cannot have this conversation here, we can't have it anywhere. We have to be able to talk about it. No issues will solve themselves. That sort of behavior is unacceptable. They simultaneously reject the idea that there's a biological difference between men and women, but then they're the same people that will demand hormones and surgery. If it's purely a social construct, then why don't you just change your name? And that's it. They're not going to do that because their ideology is based in no logic whatsoever. In fact, they're running around yelling F the police, but I guarantee the second someone fights back, they'll be the first ones to play the victims and run straight to the police. And then they are free to walk out the door after doing all of that while screaming everyone else is a Nazi and a fascist when they're the ones who cut the mics off trying to stop them from having their free speech. So obviously what they actually believe is not true. They're not living in reality. Can men menstruate? Uh, can men menstruate? Uh, yes ma'am. Menstruate? <laughs> Have their periods? Uh, no. Why are some people saying out of that do you think? Because they're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You don't have a uterus, you don't get to make a decision. You're Did you just tell me I don't have a uterus? It will never happen to you. It will never happen to you. Are you telling me that you have a uterus? Well, you couldn't tell me I don't if I claimed it. My pronouns are uterus, owner, male. Um, oh, wow, that's, that's interesting. All of a sudden, they believe in biology. For heteros as well. What do you mean? Heterosexuals. What do you mean? Fight for yeah. What do you mean fighting for, for, for their rights? Yeah, for their rights. They are so. I I am a human rights defender. What I'm is not that? limited. Sodome, Sodome I am not defender. limited. You you hmm? are I am an not limited for LGBTI. I am Lesbians, an activist. Gays, bisexual, uh, transgender, and intersexuals. Let me tell you something. Where is the H? Hmm? <laughs> a high school student accused of killing a woman after finding out she was trans no a high school student killed a grown man who was trying to molest him
rape him. Get the facts straight. Oh, y'all thought we was just going to gloss over her when they said a high school student accused of killing a woman. No, he didn't accuse. He wasn't accused of killing a woman. He killed a grown man who was a predator preying on this high schooler. Officials said 18-year-old Orlando Perez met 37-year-old Selena Hernandez in the early hours of May 31st. Now, Perez allegedly told detectives that while inside he asked Hernandez if she was a girl, she said she was trans, he then left and then came back 20 minutes later and shot Hernandez. Now, the comments are saying he's 17, but the article's saying he's 18. So was he 18 at the time of the article and 17 at the time the crime was committed? It even says they walked back to Hernandez's basement apartment building. If the kid was 17, you've got a biological man, 37 year old, who has essentially brought a 17 year old boy back to your basement. Does that not sound a little bit sketchy? However, if the kid was free to leave, which it seems like he was, then you can't really justify going back doing what he'd done and because of that he's now got 35 years in prison thrown his life away yeah crazy story man let me know your thoughts down below do you have male friends oh yeah oh they're all trying to f you they're for not. sure yes they are no they're not what do you guys talk about um cooking yeah. friends are they gay i just thought about opening the packages <laughs> people are being so mean <laughs> Let's read some comments, shall we? I'm sure Twitter's gonna be very supportive of these people. I draw comfort knowing that this is the last of their bloodline. People have become addicted to victimizing themselves online. It's pathetic. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that you've got a grown adult acting like a child. And don't forget, they've set the phone up at the perfect angle. She's got her friend to come and agree to be in the video, recorded it, edited it, and then uploaded it. World War Three is going to suck really hard for these people. <laughs> Explain to me how to change oil. Well, going off the tone of your voice, that means you're going to take the frying pan off the stove and you're going to, you're going to rinse it off. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to put new oil in the pan. I'm 38 and single, and I recently realized I want a child. I'm terrified that I've missed my opportunity. That woman's name is Melissa Persling, and she's revealing to Fox News Digital what she thinks caused her current situation. Listen. I feel unbelievably betrayed by feminism. I was constantly fed this idea that women can do everything. We don't really need men. Women can women can have the great career and and have the kids that they like and change the tires and do this. I mean, I grew up thinking and men are great, but like I can do all the same things. I do feel in many ways betrayed by that line of thinking. I kind of want to go back to some of those, some of those teachers and coaches and, and say, what the hell did you mean by that? Because women can't do it all. I, we can't. It's kind of funny that you're now standing against feminism and, and the problems with it, which is kind of good, but at the same time, you're still blaming everybody else and taking responsibility. Like, you made them choices. No one forced you to go and do it, which is hilarious because that's exactly what feminism does. <laughs> they teach all these feminists, like, nothing's your fault. Everyone else is to blame. And here you are. You've left feminism. And what are you doing? Blaming everybody else still. So, yeah, that's kind of funny to me. <laughs> Someone said she needs a six-foot-tall, wealthy bear. What would you rate this guy on a scale of one through ten? Um... A three. Oh damn, word. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. not really my sight. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one through ten? A ten. You think other people agree with that? I don't care what other people think. Confidence is key, period. Hey bro. What would you rate this girl on a scale of one through ten? What the fuck? That look like a fucking lizard, man. She a zero. I ain't gonna lie. What did he say? Hey. Oh.